What if the beating heart of the global electric revolution was about to shift to Africa? Morocco has just stunned the world by unveiling Africa's very first battery gigafactory, a jaw-dropping $5.6 billion project that promises to rewrite the continent's place in the clean energy era. This is not just a factory. It is a bold statement to the world that Africa is no longer content to stand on the sidelines of innovation. It is ready to lead. But what does this really mean for Morocco, for China, for Europe, and ultimately for Africa's future? The story begins with a vision. Morocco has long positioned itself as a bridge between Africa and Europe, building a reputation for stability, ambition, and industrial strength. Over the years, it has steadily nurtured its automotive sector, becoming a key exporter of cars to Europe and beyond. Yet the nation wanted more. As the world raced toward electrification, Morocco recognized the glaring risk of being left behind in a supply chain dominated by Asia. Batteries are the soul of electric vehicles, and without them, no car maker can hope to compete. Morocco's leaders understood this, and so did Goshen High Tech, a Chinese battery giant with global ambitions. Together, they decided to rewrite the rules. But what exactly is a gigafactory and why does it matter so much? The term, popularized by Tesla, refers to massive industrial complexes that produce batteries on an unprecedented scale, measured in gigawatt hours of output per year. A single gigafactory can power hundreds of thousands of electric cars annually, while also supplying storage for renewable energy projects. These aren't just factories, they are the engines of the clean energy economy. Tesla used gigafactories to slash costs, tighten control over its supply chain, and outpace competitors. Morocco's project borrows directly from that playbook, signaling that it is not content to be a simple assembly hub, but rather a powerhouse in its own right. Technically, the details are staggering. The factory will rise in Kenitra, northwest Morocco, and will initially produce 20 gigawatt hours of battery capacity annually, enough to electrify hundreds of thousands of vehicles. Over time, that output will soar to 100 gigawatt hours, putting Morocco in the same lead as some of the world's largest battery producers. Unlike many assembly plants, this one will not only make cells, but also produce critical components like cathodes and anodes. That vertical integration means Morocco won't just import and assemble, but will control the most valuable parts of the supply chain. The project will roll out in phases, with the first phase alone costing $1.3 billion. At full scale, it will employ up to 10,000 people, with 2,300 jobs expected as early as the initial production stage in 2026. Imagine the ripple effect of those jobs, training, skills, innovation, all fueling Morocco's industrial ecosystem. Who then is behind this monumental project? The leader is China's Goshen High Tech, a company with deep expertise in battery technology and an eye for strategic global expansion. In Morocco, Goshen will oversee design, construction, and operation of the plant, while Moroccan authorities provide crucial support in infrastructure, policy, and logistics. The project will be built in five phases, with earthworks already completed and production set to begin in the third quarter of 2026. The stakeholders are vast. Morocco benefits with jobs and industrial upgrades, Europe gains a nearby supplier, and China secures another foothold in the global energy chain. The financing is equally bold, with $5.6 billion in total investment the project represents one of the largest industrial ventures in African history. The first $1.3 billion will ignite the initial phase, but the end goal is far greater, a fully integrated facility capable of supplying both Morocco's domestic automakers and international giants in Europe. Each phase will unlock new levels of production, scaling up until the dream of a 100 gigawatt hours gigafactory becomes reality. Construction is already underway, and Morocco is racing against time to ensure the factory meets its ambitious 2026 launch date. 
This move comes as Morocco's automotive industry is already rewriting the record books. In 2023, it became the European Union's second highest automotive exporter, only behind China and overtaking Japan and India. By 2024, its car exports reached $15.7 billion, marking a steady rise in global competitiveness. And yet, this battery gigafactory elevates the game to an entirely new level. No longer will Morocco simply assemble cars, it will produce the very technology that powers them. With 85% of production set to be exported to Europe, Morocco will become indispensable to the European Union's electric future, especially as Europe pushes toward a ban on new fossil fuel cars by 2035. So what's in it for Morocco? Beyond the jobs and revenue, it's about industrial sovereignty. The country will no longer rely solely on imports for high-value components. Instead, it becomes a regional hub for innovation, building skills in cutting-edge battery technology and anchoring a new industrial ecosystem. For China, the benefits are strategic. This gigafactory strengthens its influence in Africa, secures supply chains close to Europe, and reinforces its dominance in the global battery market. For Europe, the project is a lifeline, a way to reduce reliance on Asian imports and secure stable, nearby supply for its EV ambitions. And for Africa, this could be the spark of a continental transformation. For too long, Africa's vast mineral wealth, cobalt, lithium, copper, has been exported cheaply, while others reap the rewards of manufacturing. Morocco's gigafactory shows a different path, one where African countries don't just dig and ship but build, innovate, and lead. Imagine similar projects in Congo, Zambia, or Zimbabwe, where raw materials are transformed locally into the technologies of tomorrow. Would that not redefine Africa's role in the global economy? The unveiling of this gigafactory is more than just industrial progress. It is a statement of intent. Morocco has shown that with vision, partnerships, and bold investment, Africa can compete at the highest level of technological innovation. It is a breathtaking example of what the continent is capable of when ambition meets opportunity. But the bigger question lingers. Will other African nations follow Morocco's lead? If they do, Africa's clean energy revolution may no longer be a dream, but an unstoppable reality. Because in the end, Morocco's $5.6 billion battery gigafactory is not just about producing cells and electrodes. It is about producing hope, confidence, and proof that Africa can build the future, not just for itself, but for the world. And if the rest of the continent takes note, then this moment may one day be remembered as the turning point when Africa decided to stop watching history and started writing it. Your perspective matters. What do you make of Morocco's new $5.6 billion battery gigafactory? Share your thoughts and insights in the comments section below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the New Africa Wealth and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our informative future videos. Stay informed, stay engaged, and thank you for watching.